What's going on everyone? My name is Ryan from Little King Goods and today we are going to be making the Uncharted Satchel version 2. So stick around and find out how I make this thing. One thing to keep in mind when you're cutting leather, a sharp knife is a safe knife. Also a really less frustrating knife because once you have a dull knife, cutting through things is just super frustrating. You get a lot of frayed edges, your cuts aren't as clean, and it just doesn't look as nice. So what I suggest is stropping your knife. So what you'd use is a piece of veg tan and some stropping compound. And I use this blue stuff, um, it's really, really cool. It's just a jeweler's compound. And so you just rub the compound on there, and then you just strop your knife from side to side. I'll show you how it's done. Basically, you have your knife, you have your stropping compound and your strop. Just rub a little compound on there. It should come off like a chalk, I guess. Take your knife and put it on an angle where you're gonna meet the edge of the knife right on the leather. Um, so not 90 degrees, obviously. Not even 45, I'd say a little less than 45 so that you can get all those burrs off the edge. What stropping does, it removes the little burrs that build up on the blade edge here. Um, there's microscopic little burrs that, that build up after cutting through uh, material. And what that does, it just removes the, uh, the little burrs making your knife sharp. And you'll see after a while that your strop gets really dark and that's all that, uh, all the metal filings that come off of your steel edge. So for those of you that have used pull-up leather, and pull-up leather, I mean leather that has a pull-up, when you pull up on the back of it, it shifts the waxes and the oils in it, giving it a different color, like a two-tone color now. So for those of you that have used pull-up leathers, you know that it's really, really gorgeous to work with especially when you're working with more of a rugged kind of look. I really like that look. That's kind of what I built my brand upon. And what I like to do when I first get the leather, it's kind of a darker, darker tone to it because it hasn't been milled. And so what I do is I, I sort of hand mill it to make it look a little bit more rustic. It will eventually turn a dark color again, the, the color that it's waxed with uh, right from the factory. I just like to give it that little extra character. So what I do is I just hand mill it. Basically, I just roll it in on itself to give that extra nice pull-up-y look, if you will. So as you can see, it starts to look really, really nice. It looks really, really nice and crisp. And that's how I like it. So after everything is cut and hand milled, I like to roll my edges on everything that's gonna be kind of an outside edge. And how I do that is with a bell skiver. If you don't have a bell skiver, you can still do rolled edges. It just takes a little bit more time to hand skive all of your edges. When I bought a bell skiver, my life changed huge. I bought kind of a lower end bell skiver, but it does the job. It doesn't have all the bells and whistles like some other ones do, but it gets the job done very, very well. So let's go over to the bell skiver and let's skive some edges. So here's an example of a skived edge. I took a strip off right here so that's a lot easier to roll the edge and that's where you get the term rolled edge. So I made a mark right here so that I know how far to glue so that I can roll the edge over to that line and it's on every single piece that I've 
skived and it'll look super consistent and that's what we want. Now that everything is rolled and glued, it's time to stitch across the top. So this is how we do. So off camera, I pre-punched all the holes I'm going to need in order to stitch up the gussets. Right here, and along the gussets that I'm going to be installing. It's been a little while. Uh, this bag is taking a little longer than uh, expected because I am filming and I am making at the same time, so that slows things down. But hopefully, we're gonna get there soon. Hang in there. is finally starting to take shape. I have attached some copper rivets to the tops so that it holds the gussets in place while I hand stitch. All right, fast forward to stitching. So this bag is really taking shape now. All that's left on the main body of the bag is to cut the straps that wrap around the back of the bag and through the front, the little roller bar buckles here, and then the top handle um, that has to be stitched and then riveted on to the top right here. If we look inside the bag, we've got a really nice um, laptop sleeve in here with a pocket. It fits really nicely a MacBook Pro, um, any sort of MacBook. Um, that's kind of what I designed it to. Um, and yeah, so you got a big compartment in there for whatever you want to carry. And like I said, a little pocket here for your cell phone or whatever you want to hold in there.
so the handle is now stitched, punched, ready to attach to the bag. And I think we're almost done, folks. I am not gonna show how I make the strap. In the previous vlog, I showed how to make straps for a tote bag. It's pretty much the same thing with a couple added tweaks, but I hope you got the idea today, and let's just finish this thing off. That's a wrap, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for asking me questions. Thank you for following me on Instagram. I'm just so happy that I can show you how I make this uncharted satchel from start to finish with a couple things in between that I didn't show, but I'm just grateful to be able to show this to you guys and I hope that you enjoyed it. If you got any questions, please leave it in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to make more videos on how I craft my leather goods. Spend your time and your day with your family, enjoy life. We only have a short time in this world, so make the best of it. And uh, hopefully we'll see you soon. All right guys, take care.